Hello children. Welcome to your English literature class. Today we are going to continue the poem Small Pain in My Chest written by Michael Mack. We are going to learn stanza 9 which is the last stanza of the poem. So let's proceed. Stanza 9. I don't recall what happened then. I think I must have cried. I put my arms around him and I pulled him to my side. And as I held him to me, I could feel our wounds were pressed. The large one in my heart against the small one in his chest. Explanation. The narrator said he could not recall what happened thereafter. The narrator thought he might have cried. for it was a deeply moving experience for him to see a young soldier signing off from life overwhelmed with emotions the narrator put his arms around him and pressed him to his bosom the real wound in the heart of the deceased soldier had carved far bigger wound in the narrator's heart sadness laced with pride anguish mixed with admiration and empathy lined with reverence gripped his wounded heart He felt extremely sad in the futility of war which takes away so many great young lives. Notes The narrator soldier was so drastically carried away with the rush of emotions that he could hardly remember what happened next. The only things he remembered was that he cried. It was quite natural for a young soldier who witnessed a fellow comrade die in severe pangs the physical injury that the soldier got in his chest is referred to by the phrase small one in his chest he was wounded as he had fought all day and night without any rest the wound is visible on his shirt where it had been smeared with dirt and made a prominent color of reddish brown the greater guilt on the part of humanity at not being able to give up wars is the large wound in the narrator's heart helplessness caused the large wound in the narrator's chest he sees that the soldier boy is gradually dying in front of his eyes due to the small pain in his chest in spite of fighting bravely against his enemies this had caused the large wound in the narrator's chest now let's see the figures of speech alliteration it is the use of the same letter repeatedly in the beginning of consecutive or closely placed words in the phrase held him the letter h is repeated in the phrase arms around the letter a is repeated anaphora it is the deliberate repetition of a word or a group of words at the beginning of a sentence in verse or prose the entire stanza has the repeated use of the word i i don't recall i think i must have i put i pulled i held i could feel now let us learn some important things about the poem conclusion to the poem main events of the poem the battle took a heavy toll on life the young soldier got wounded along with scores of others the brave soldier narrated to his comrade how the small pain in his chest had left him down on his knees the wounded soldier bemoaned his fate not because he was grievously wounded but because he could fight no longer He remembered his wife and mother. His limbs became insipid as death loomed over him. The day appeared dark and the sun appeared to be setting. The young soldier breathed his last with the remorse that a small pain in his chest had done him in. The other soldier embraced him with a guilt and pain in his heart. The poem discusses the theme of war and peace. It brings out the horrific effects of the war through the sufferings and death of a young soldier who demands 
understanding and concern from fellow human beings to stop war and destruction. War destroys love and peace. It brings with it hatred and strife. The poet wants to convey the message that wars are not necessary. We should live in harmony with fellow beings and help each other. We should enjoy the gifts that nature has bestowed upon us and not spoil it by greed, hatred and malice. Michael Mack has brought out the suffering of the soldiers. There is only horror, chaos, fear and trauma at the battlefield. The soldiers gradually run out of energy and the battlefield takes its toll sooner or later. Thus, the poem indirectly advises people to shun hatred and warfare. The phrase a small pain in my chest is a refrain which is repeatedly used in the poem to emphasize the pain and suffering of a soldier in the battlefield. The poem is in the form of a ballad. A ballad is a narrative poem intended to be sung. It comprises small stanzas and has a refrain. It gives the poem the musical quality. The poem has a poignant ending which makes the readers feel the agony of a soldier and realize the horrors of war and need to shun hatred and warfare for the sake of humanity. Small Pain in My Chest is a symbolic poem. The title Small Pain in My Chest is a brilliant example of symbolism. The author has sung the praise of the young valiant soldier who was dying by describing his lament not in groans and curses but in words conveying stoicism, pride and defiance. The small pain in the soldier's chest is a big pain in the conscience of humanity. In his physical agony, the soldier asked for a sip of water. In fact, he was asking for some understanding and concern for the human being who suffered for no fault of his. The soldier looked around to get some aid but the only thing he found were deep craters in the earth, the relics of destruction. In fact, he was looking for some help from the human beings to be spared and saved from his fatal end, but his attempt went in vain. He has been fighting day and night without rest. He was fatigued and needed some rest before he got eternal rest. The sun is the source of light. It was shining brightly but the soldier was feeling cold. The time of the day was morning. As the soldier was dying, the sun for him was becoming dim even though it was morning. It symbolizes the darkness that was entering his life. Can it be getting dark so soon? He winced up at the sun. It's growing dim and I thought that the day had just begun. These lines are another example of symbolism. The wounded soldier stood on the throes of death. This was why everything looked darker to him, although the sun still shone bright. And as I held him to me, I could feel our wounds were pressed, the large one in my heart against the small one in his chest. Again, this is an exquisite example of symbolism. The second soldier was not physically wounded at all, but the dead warrior's last regretful words have moved him. Some qualities of the soldier make him stand apart. The soldier was stoic, courageous and committed to his duty. He was defined in the face of death and wanted to press on despite the excruciating pain he suffered due to the big wound in his chest. The soldier was aware of his fatty wounds, but he ignored the suffering, calling it a small pain in my chest, and hid it behind a sweet smile so that he may derive courage to bear the pain for some more time. Such determination to fight even when death knocked at the door made him a truly astounding soldier. So children, this is all about the poem Small Pain in My Chest, composed by Michael Mack. Today, 
we have completed learning the poem. So, I end up the video over here. I'll get back to you very soon with yet another lesson. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.